Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I am going to do a paper towel swipe, but I'm going to do it in completely different colors and I'm trying out a new glue. So what I'm trying to use this time, I've used it in the past, is this PVA wood glue that I got from the hardware store. It's so much cheaper, but I just want to see how it goes. So it's, it's good and bad. When I mixed it with the three metallics, it turned out great. When I mixed it with the black, which this is a different black, it went lumpy and gluggy and turned like a jelly. So it didn't react well with the black, but I've used it for the metallics. So for the black one, I've had to go back to my Elmer's clear glue, like I've used in the past. So they're both mixed as a pouring medium, 70% glue, 30% water. And then I mixed them one to one with metallics. So I have silver, and I wonder if these are slightly thick, but metallics are hard to work out. So I have silver, I have a gold, and I have a copper. Copper's beautiful. So they are a little bit pale because they're mixed with a white glue. They will dry shinier. So they are these Eraldo Di Polo colors in metallic copper, metallic silver, and metallic gold. So that's them. They are, so they're 55 grams paint and 55 grams pouring medium. Now, this is Araldo Di Polo black, but this is mixed one and a half, actually no, it's mixed two to two to one. Two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Um, and that was mixed with the Elmer's glue, these three with the hardware glue. It just reacted so badly. And I kept adding more and more, and it just went gluggy and thick and turned to mush so that was useless but it's good to know so i have my container that i'm going to put my black in put that lid out the way and this is 25 grams paint and 50 grams pouring medium and i added i think it was four drops of Helmar silicon oil into it. So now I'm just going to pour this into my container. So it is a little bit thick. So I'm probably going to get large, so I mean small cells. But I wanted to see how I go. Sometimes you just got to try stuff a little bit different. And just see how it turns out. So there's my black swipe color which I'll put aside. Now I'm going to put these three colors on. I'm going to do half a cup and then half a cup of each color and then another half a cup so their colors are a little bit um, thinner, thinner mixed so I don't have big clumps of color everywhere. So I'm going to do it thinnish That's probably about half a cup. Just want to make sure the paint is even all over and I want I want the cells to show all colours. So if I do it thinly and mix it up, I think that will be the best way to get a really good assortment of colors coming through and being a metallic this will show its full potential when dry compared to being wet I think I might go the copper again because I think this is going to be the boldest color that's going to show through the most
so I've been really excited about doing one of these in metallics and I thought that the black swipe color would be the best for it now I'm gonna go the gold closer to these edges. And then the silver again. So if this turns out well, I may even try the other metallics because um, I've got quite a few colours all in metallics but I haven't used them for a lot of things because I'm not actually sure how I'm going to go without it. Sometimes I think I think too much and panic myself about using certain things instead of just going for it. Now I will use a corner catcher because I don't want to lose much of this metallic paint. My corner catch is getting quite rigid from all the paint layers it's got on it. And this is also the time that you put your gloves on. So, these um, paper towel swipes have been really, really fun. I really want to thank Julie for showing me it. Well, hers was the first video I saw that did it, so. Um, and I've enjoyed doing them. I quite like the way that they look. Um, others of my friends at work and friends at home have really enjoyed the way that they look when the ones I've done, so I thought I'll continue to do a few. So we want the paint in that corner. Then come back out of the corner and then take the corner catcher off. Let's go do this bottom corner. Bring the paint back down to the middle. And then off to the side. Into the corner. Back out of the corner. And take that corner catcher off. Bring the paint back to the middle and then all the way over to this corner. Into the corner we go. I'm gonna try and get, um, no, not for the moment. Bring it back, take that catcher off. in the middle nut bring your paint all the way back to the mint to the center and then off to the other corner all the way in the corner bring it back out of the corner and then take it off now I'm just going to put this corner catch away out the way now I haven't gone over the edge there or there in the center. So I just want to bring the paint back a little bit. Come up a little bit slowly. We don't want to go crazily over the edge, but we just want to, just want it to drizzle over that edge. Just helping it along a little bit. There we go, that's over. Now I'm gonna bring it down to the other end. Do the same, just over the edge and then come back. Bring all the weight of your paint back to the center. Now just 
double check that you have got every bit covered. I usually just run my finger underneath the lip and grab some of that excess dripping paint and just dab it where your edges or your corners aren't covered. It's the corners you've got to watch for a lot because they're ones that are more likely to not get paint because of the corner catcher. Excellent. Just rubbing that excess paint off. There we go. Now I can get rid of my gloves. Gloves are always getting in my way. So I'm gonna dump them off to the side. Now make your work area clear so you have space to move. You don't want to confine yourself. Now I'm, I haven't got any silicon in these base colours so I'm going to give it a quick torch and get rid of any bubbles. Because there is bubbles. So my paints may be a little bit thick. I wasn't sure because of the metallics. Um, it's hard to judge sometimes because I don't want to thin the metallics out too much. That's one of the last things you want to do. Alrighty, let me just make sure I'm in camera. Perfect. Alrighty, now I've got my paper towels ready. I've got my black swipe colors ready now it's just a matter of dipping it in I usually go probably close to a centimeter make sure there's no drips coming off and then swipe all the way Dip the next one in, the same amount. Make sure it's not going to drip anywhere. Try and get it at the same spot. And swipe all the way. I usually do overlap it just a tad. Um, just because I don't want to miss a part. A drip there, we can't fall off. Okay. Now, swipe it all the way. So, if I repeat myself a little bit, it's how I teach my brain how to do things. So it does look like my swipe colour is slightly thick. Okay. But you can always adjust it for a, another one. If, so if you do it and you think it's a little bit thick, then just thin it out with a little bit more pouring medium before you do another swipe using it. So, it did that to me, which I don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one piece down to a small sliver. Mm, I haven't got the right scissors. Here's my, there we go. It's my better scissors. So let's hope I can do this without making a mess. There 
There we go. It's gonna be a drip. I'd rather it drip off in the container than on the outwork. So if I was to do another one after this, I would thin this black down a little bit more. Who knows, it might look good once I start torching. Can't always tell 100% for sure how it's gonna look until you start torching. So I know there's a drip gonna come off, so there we go. Swipe all the way down. One last bit, actually, I can use the other part of that one that I cut because it's a thinner piece there. Always be careful with the edges because you want to make sure you actually go over the edge. Now, get my paper towel aside because I have to rotate this canvas. So I'm just going to pick it up, spin it around, put it back down. How does it look for you guys? So I don't use a lot of the, um, the metallics in, in swipes and that. They, they just behave very differently. I'm not used to them. when I would like to more so I'm hoping I can get this looking good so then I can feel a bit more comfortable about it okay try and get where you were before and swipe all the way down cool happy with that This is just a matter of continuously doing it. Yes, there's a little gap in the middle there. I'm not going to stress over it. I think that might actually look quite good. Well. This one might be quite dark. We'll see. You want to try to always get the same amount of like right that one centimeter spot at the bottom each time we're nearly there and we can start torching and the fun part, seeing what actually comes up out of it. Just take your time with your swipe. Don't feel like you have to rush that bit. Because 
each if you went to swipe it a second time it will end up being quite dark with the swipe color in that spot That little gap there, I don't know if I'm going to fix that or not. It's not terribly over the top, we'll see. I'll just continue with what I'm doing for now and have a look at it in a second. I think it's because the paints underneath are a little bit thicker while it's why it's doing that. So because there's two, I may just cut a couple of slithers out of this and fix those ones up. the beauty of swipes. They're often fixable in some ways. Get that drip off. Yep. And when it turns out like it doesn't even look like you've tried to do anything extra that's precisely what you want again another one that doesn't really look like I've done anything different to it so now lid on my swipe color and put that aside because there's enough there to use for tons more swipes turning on our blowtorch putting it on a little bit low and I'm gonna try and avoid the center part a bit and just go more for the the edges again go slow don't rush yourself. I can see bubbles popping, but I can't really see cells forming. Oh, there's a couple. Go over this side, see what we get. I wonder if my torch is a little bit too low. Turn it up a little bit. Try again.
Now they're there, they're just having a little bit more trouble forming. I think I may have made it a little bit thicker. But like I said, metallics, I wasn't sure. They felt thick, but metallics always do feel a little bit different. I'm stopping for a moment. <clears throat> I was having trouble getting the cells, so I had to get closer. And they're forming a little bit differently to how they normally were. I think the thickness of the paint, and it could also be the, the glue mixture, it's a different glue mixture. So they're not forming as round, and they're kind of they're blurring a little bit, but I actually don't mind the look of it. It looks quite different. It, it is, it's different, but I don't mind it. I often like things when they turn out slightly different. Gives you an idea, and it's also a way to show you how different paints work in a different way, or different pouring mediums work in different ways. So. I've definitely got quite a few good cells come up and these will be heaps better once they've dried. Um, the colour will, will come through a lot better. It's really interesting. They really do look like they're a little bit of a blurred cell. It's hard to really explain. I'll show you when, when I zoom in. But there is lots and lots of tiny cells. So it could just be reactions with different paints, but there's also two different pouring mediums too. So there's two different glue mixtures and maybe they are reacting with each other in a different way to how if you just use the, the one um, pouring medium. So that's a fun experiment. I did stop using that glue a while ago because I did find it was um, getting gluggy with only with certain colors. So it meant that my plan of doing certain paints I had to stop because I couldn't do that colour so I had to pick a different colour for it and it wasn't right so I went back to using the clear glue and um, I found the clear glue worked well. I did buy recently a glue all. So I am going to do another experiment using the glue all next time um, but I wanted to try this one out because I still have, I brought a few bottles of these and I've still got quite a few. They were only 20 something dollars for four liters, which was really quite worthwhile um, compared to using the other pouring mediums, which work out a little bit more expensive. But if I find they don't work as good, then I'll make sure that I use the pouring mediums I do like. 